Happy June 11th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. When last we played, Ivy was attacked by a trio of saboteurs, insects, who were in the process of sabotaging the source that supplies the Mudbrook Town Well. We defeated two, the third fled, and that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Looks like some more exploration. The water continues to drain into a hole, revealing a larger cavern beneath. As you peer down, a sense of movement catches your eye. You'll need to venture deeper into the cavern to halt the water loss. Begin at the X navigator on the map, etc, etc. I don't see any hidden icons here. Um, we're over here on the left part of the map. Looks like I'm guessing we're headed towards five. So if we want to explore everything, maybe we go, um, uh, it's hard to tell. So I guess one, three, two, four, five. We'll do a little S curve here. <clears throat> okay. Area one. This tunnel's precision and polished walls differ drastically from natural caverns hinting at expert craftsmanship or machinery. With every step, you search for clues to unravel its secrets. Roll d20 plus intellect. Reminder, investigator. We are not an investigator, and we roll a one. <laughs> okay, that's the worst result. Uh, while the tunnel's artificial nature is evident, its precise origin remains elusive. As you investigate, you inadvertently trigger a hidden trap, causing rocks to fall. Fortunately, only minor injuries are sustained. Reduce your health by one. Okay, so we're down to 11 health. We're not quite half dead yet. <laughs> and all we've done, I don't feel like we've done that. I guess we were in a couple fights. Okay. Uh, area one, that was area one. We'll head down here to area three. It looks like trees, trees maybe, or clouds. The cavern suddenly fills with a pungent odor. Uh-oh, yeah, I think it's gas. Signaling the release of deadly gas. Your vision blurs as the fumes cloud the tunnel, making breathing difficult. Roll d20 uh, plus constitution. Reminder, danger sense and survivalist. We have both of those. Danger sense, survivalist, and our constitution, though, is plus zero. So we get a plus four on this roll. Two. <laughs> oh my goodness. We rolled great yesterday, and now um, the die is taking it out on us today. So that's a six. If the result is seven or less, can we get one more point? Um, do we have anything that can help our constitution? We have one of our pets, Bumble. And what else? Uh, we do have Sky, who's a survivalist, so it's possible. So Bumble and Sky, either one. Oh, we have our Boondi. That's more of a sure thing. Um, let's try Bumble and Sky because they are the least likely <laughs> to succeed here. Um, okay, first off, Bumble. Here's Bumble. Bumble can get us plus two constitution if we get a seven. Greater than or equal to seven, that is a club or a spade. Here we go. Nope. <laughs> okay. So that's Bumble. And now um, Sky. Sky Feather or something. Feather. Feather neck. Feather. Uh, I need new glasses, I think. Um, so Sky, our bird friend. Um, if we draw a club or a spade, that will activate... And a uh, survivalist, that'll get us plus two. So clever spade? Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. Should we waste the boon die on this? Um, I don't want to look at the result before I decide. I'm going to roll a die. One to ten, we use the boon die. Nope. Okay. We're going to save our boon die. All right. So that's area three. We're taking the worst result here. The gas overpowers you, blurring your senses. Um, as you struggle for air, you momentarily black out, later awakening 
to find you've suffered damage from the fumes reduce your health by two. Oh dear we're down to nine health i think i think we better use some stuff here we have healing light um we can use that once per rest and that adds d4 health we're also carrying um uh some honey which can be used as a health potion uh, and I think that's all we've got. I don't think we have any. I don't think we have any straight up health potions. I think we used all of them. Health potions. There's our one honey. Uh, where's health potion? None. Here it is. Yeah, we don't have so. Should we use the honey? I think so. Let's uh, let's use the honey. Because we can't use that in combat, if I'm remembering correctly. So using it now would be... In, but we can use our ability in combat. So let's use the honey first one. <laughs> okay. There goes the honey. <laughs> For all of one. That gets us back up to ten. And I think we're going to go ahead and use the healing light ability too. We use that once per rest. So this is our time. There we go. Four. That's more like it. Okay, so we're back up to fourteen. Okay. Um we do have Oh, we do have Ivan, who's a party member. He can help us too out potentially. We may as well. Why not? Let's go, Ivan. Um where are you? We can use him once per page. He can heal one. If we draw a heart, that is nine or greater. So very unlikely. And nope. Does the ace count as I don't think an ace counts as a face card. I don't think that damages us. So okay. Well, there you go. 14 health. Where were we? That was area three. We just blacked out and woke up wounded. Healed ourselves, and now let's head up to area two. It looks like there's some insects here. Looks like four of them, maybe. Um, the cavern buzzes with insects. Their chatter mixing with the sounds of the tools they use. Their organized actions hint at intelligence. They haven't noticed you yet. Sneak up on them for a swift attack. Roll d20 plus dexterity. Reminder stealthy. Um, 13, we are, and then our dexterity is 2, so that's 15, that gets us the best result. Um, using the darkness as a cover, you approach the creatures unnoticed, and now there's a, there's some stats here, there's just a stat for one enemy, so we're either just fighting one guy, or, um, or maybe it's treating all of them as sort of one one stat block here and it doesn't say whether they flee or we fight to the death so i'm gonna assume we just fight this we do one round of combat with this one guy because that's and if it doesn't either way that he flees or we kill him because the only time we haven't done that is when we fight a boss and it explicitly says that we fight to the death so okay here we go we want to hit a defense of 12 we got a 15, so we hit him, and now we want, we're hoping to do <clears throat> five or more damage. We roll 2d8 for our damage, and we get him. So he goes down, and that's it. Um, there's no reward specified here or anything. I guess that's that's the end of that. Now we'll head over to area four. Looks like a dark, or maybe there's some. Maybe that's water or something. Area four. Further along, the tunnel descends into an, an impenetrable black. The lack of sight accentuates each echo, from dripping water to the soft scuffle of unseen entities. Drawing from your senses, you try to navigate or possibly manifest a light source. Roll d20 plus wisdom. Manifest a light source. 9 plus wisdom is 2 is 11. That's the middle result. We'd have to get 4 more. And there's no way for us to do that. We have tank who could add to our wisdom, but not enough. Um, okay, so that's the middle result. Progressing carefully, 
Your hand discovers a bioluminescent fungus adorning the tunnel walls. This fungus, when agitated, emits a faint glow you use to cast a dim light around you, offering a safer journey. Okay. Um, and now we're on to Area 5. You find a tunnel that ends abruptly. This is the way to go, but the tunnel is blocked by something. You may stop here or continue to explore before returning. And we have explored everything here. So, that, my friends, is June 11th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.